In breaking news, serial sex offender Stuart Murray Wilson has been released from prison in Wanganui this morning. After 18 years in jail, Wilson has been allowed out to live in a self-care unit within the Wanganui prison grounds. 65-year-old Wilson faces strict parole conditions, including GPS monitoring. He won't be allowed to drive, travel any distance or associate with children. Some aspects of the parole conditions remain unclear with a decision about his reintegration programme expected today. The Wanganui District Council is pushing ahead with plans for the community to shun the so-called beast of Blenheim by trespassing him from properties around the city. One News reporter Daniel Faitawa joins us now live from Wanganui. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Melissa. Well, here we are, as I mentioned, uh, at around 6 o'clock. Stuart Murray Wilson was a free man. He was escorted by a prison man, uh, escorted by uh, guards and uh, Department of Correction staff into the self-care units here just behind me. Now, they handed him over to management, who then took him inside uh, one of the self-care units, and from there they closed curtains. Now, the glimpse we saw of Stuart Murray Wilson was that he was wearing a green sweater and pretty much had his head down as he was walking in. Now, Dep Department of Correction staff have told us that he is allowed to talk to media, but we are not allowed to go onto that property. Department of Corrections have banned media from going on there. Uh, in terms of this uh, self-care unit, he will stay here until his house arrives. That will be set up just on the prison grounds here, uh, just further down, metres uh, behind me. Now, for many of viewers there, it's about an eight kilometre drive from the Wanganui town here uh, to Kaituki, uh, where the prison grounds are. There were no members of the public here, even though there was huge community uh, disappointment and dissatisfaction with the sexual predator being moved in here. Uh, no members of the public have been here. It's only been media. There has been a handful um, of police officers here also just keeping an eye on the process. Uh, look, if there are any more developments, we'll hope to have that to you. We are expecting uh, a spokesperson from the Department of Corrections to front to media uh, sometime today. Uh, at that, that, that time hasn't been given to us at this stage, but uh, once more come in, we'll come back to you later in the bulletin. Thanks for that update. Daniel Faitawa live in Wanganui. And as Daniel said, we will have the latest information. This update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. Serial sex offender Stuart Murray Wilson has been released from prison in Wanganui this morning, but he hasn't gone far. One News reporter Daniel Faitawa is in Wanganui for us. Daniel. Well, that's right. He hasn't got far at all. In fact, 300 metres was the drive from the prison here to the South Care units behind me. Now, Department of Corrections have told us inside the South Care units he has laundry, he has a TV, he also has a couch and a single bed, and Corrections have supplied him with a cell phone. Now, earlier this morning, Corrections held a press conference, and here's what the manager of Corrections had to say. The staff that have been with Mr Wilson today um, have said that uh, he doesn't intend to, to leave his immediate residence. Um, the area uh, that he is allowed to uh, be on is uh, the prison property. Uh, so uh, he's allowed to, to be around the prison property. Uh, obviously we have prison security that would be monitoring um, his whereabouts. He's on the GPS uh, system so um, his, his movements are being tracked. Um, continuously, um, but he doesn't intend to, to seek any uh, leave uh, away from the prison property in the near future. And One News understands that Wilson uh, was frightened uh, early this morning. I mean, it's been six hours now since he's been free. Uh, parole, the prison parole told us that he was frightened, he was apprehensive and he was quiet. Now, Wilson was convicted on 22 sex charges against women and children. And uh, right from the outset at 65, he has not admitted to his guilt or shown any remorse. Now, this freedom comes after the Wanganui District Council uh, went to the High Court in a bid uh, to try and stop the sexual predator from coming into the community, but that was unsuccessful. It was also the same time that Wilson had taken court action on 17 strict release uh, conditions, which he wanted relaxed. Now, the High Court has upheld all of the 17 except one, and that was to have two minders uh, look after him and be with him when he reintegrated into the Wanganui community. And the parole board has told us that that decision is expected to be made late this afternoon. Thanks, Daniel. Daniel Faitawa in Wanganui. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. Wilson is tonight adjusting to life as a free man. One of this country's worst sexual offenders is keeping a low profile in Wanganui. Daniel Faitawa is there and joins us now. Daniel. 
Well, the notorious sex offender was released into a South Care unit this morning at six o'clock just outside Wanganui Prison. Stuart Murray Wilson was said to be fearful and apprehensive after being behind bars for 18 years. A short walk to freedom as the so-called Beast of Blenheim is escorted under tight security to his unit on Wanganui prison grounds. He's very apprehensive about his release uh, and he has no intention uh, of uh, seeking to go into the community in the near future. That's consistent with our planning. Uh, he's happy to stay uh, just where he is for the time being. Happy to stay in what can be described as basic facilities. It has a couch, has a television, um, and it has cooking facilities. It has a laundry and uh, so he can do his washing. Um, but this isn't a lavish um, environment for him to be in. Um, uh, but he is a free man. And while he's adjusting to freedom after spending 18 years behind bars for a raft of sex crimes against women and children, Stuart Murray Wilson's also coming to terms with the terms of his parole. The 65-year-old's also been issued a cell phone to communicate with prison staff only. He's also wearing a GPS tracking system on his ankle to ensure his every movement has been monitored. But eight kilometres away, a community still grapples with the fear of an unwanted new neighbour. I was actually surprised and a bit scared because I have two children. I think he should be kept locked up. Yeah, it's quite a big worry if he's get on the lease and escape somewhere. My staff are professional and diligent and uh, as I've said before, uh, they'll walk over broken glass to make sure the safety of the community uh, is upheld. Community leaders are just as determined to maintain the fight to keep the sexual predator away from town. Now it goes to the rest of our plan which is actually to ensure that the community are reassured that, that the plan that the corrections and police have in place will work. In the meantime, Wilson will be calling these grounds and this unit home as he waits for his two-bedroom house to be placed on site in a few weeks. Daniel, we know the parole board has now revised the terms of Wilson's release. Tell us what's changed. Well, a Department of Corrections spokesperson told me very little has changed in this decision, but the emphasis, there is a strong emphasis on reintegrating Wilson back into the community and keeping his two minders, and that's not just for the public safety, but also his own safety too. Corrections also recommended an introduction of a curfew for Wilson, but the parole board stayed with its earlier decision and decided not to. In Wanganui, Daniel Faitawa, thank you.